What to do if you feel hatred toward your stepchildren? Feeling anger, resentment, jealousy, and even hatred towards your stepkids is a real thing that people in blended families sometimes feel. Being a stepmother is a role that not every woman may find suitable. It might be one of the most channeling roles. If you're considering taking on this role, it's essential to be mentally and physically prepared. Once you commit to it, there's no easy way to step back. You can't simply enter someone's life only to exit when it doesn't suit you. You can't force someone to love you and then vanish from their life. This is why it's crucial to carefully consider entering this kind of relationship. You must come to terms with the reality that you will always be under scrutiny. You will be the one expected to resolve issues and calm turbulent situations. My dear, you'll consistently be a mediator. Regardless of whether you're fulfilling your role effectively or not, it can be an exhausting experience. This can persist until you develop effective organizational strategies. And that's not all. Here are some aspects of being a stepmother that may have slipped your mind. I'm here to remind you of what your life might look like after you commit to caring for children who aren't biologically yours. So I ask you, are you fully prepared for this? What I want to say first is that all feelings are valid and it's important to build a support team that does not shame you about your emotions. Experiencing feelings of anger, hatred or resentment towards the children in a blended family is not an unusual or rare occurrence. It can be challenging to admit to having these emotions as they often carry a stigma. If you're part of online support groups, you may discover that discussing these emotions is not always met with understanding or helpful advice. In fact, some responses from others might exacerbate the negative feelings you're already grappling with. The truth is, most individuals don't want to harbor these emotions towards the children in their lives. Holding on to such emotions, like anger and resentment, can be emotionally and mentally taxing. Many people describe it as akin to drinking poison because it ultimately harms the person who carries these negative feelings, not the intended target of the emotions. A stepdaughter who exhibits manipulative behavior is a common problem that many stepmothers face. It can be difficult to know what you're dealing with until it becomes a serious issue. In this video, we will discuss the reasons why stepdaughters are manipulative and provide some tips on how to deal with these behaviors when they arise. How to deal with your stepdaughter, who is manipulative? What is child manipulation? Child manipulation is a tactic employed by individuals to achieve their desired outcomes from others. In the context of stepdaughters and their manipulative behavior, this often entails the utilization of negative emotions to exert control or influence over someone else's actions. They frequently employ strategies like tears or anger to achieve their objectives. These methods are typically acquired through observing the family dynamics evolving around them as they grow up, primarily from both parents and other siblings. It's important to recognize that these actions are not necessarily directed at you specifically, but are rooted in the way your stepdaughter has learned to effectively communicate with others when her desires are not met. Ways your stepdaughter might engage in manipulative behavior. When your stepdaughter attempts to manipulate you, she may exhibit the following behaviors. One, she may exploit family dynamics and relationships within your household, particularly with siblings, emphasizing how much they care about her. If there's a strong bond between siblings, it can be challenging for her to get her way when they oppose it. Two, she might request things in a whiny and sorrowful tone of voice, as this might have been the sole approach that yielded results in her past interactions with people. Three, in case of a refusal, anticipate the onset of tears or anger, although it might not occur immediately after you decline her request. Four, she may attempt to rally other family members to her cause, your stepdaughter might ask them for assistance or convey that you're not being fair, hoping they will take her side. Five, she may resort to making threats such as threatening to run away or harm herself. Six, alternatively, she might try to win you over by being exceedingly accommodating and helpful, especially if you've denied something she's accustomed to having. This is her way of attempting to change your decision. Seven, she might employ manipulation by emphasizing how much she has done for you possibly believing that she deserves something in return. It's important to address such behaviors with patience, understanding and consistent boundaries to help your stepdaughter develop healthier means of communication and interaction. Here are seven strategies for dealing with a manipulative stepdaughter. If you are facing challenges with a manipulative stepdaughter, here are seven strategies to effectively address this behavior. One, maintain your composure. 
When your stepdaughter engages in manipulative behavior, it's important to remain calm. Avoid falling into the trap of arguing or reacting emotionally as this can escalate the situation. By keeping your composure, you can prevent her from realizing that she has gained control over your emotions. Do not lose your temper. 2. Document everything. Keep a detailed record of each incident involving your stepdaughter's manipulative behavior. Note what transpired and how it made you feel. Document any threats, negative actions or tantrums she exhibits. This documentation may serve as evidence if you need to involve family therapists or child protective services to demonstrate a pattern of manipulative behavior. 3. Engage your partner. Ensure that your partner, who is most likely your stepdaughter's biological parent, is fully informed about the situation. Their presence alone may deter manipulative behavior. Additionally, your partner might have valuable insights or advice on how to handle such situations. 4. Clarify your role as a step-parent. Seek clarity on your role in relation to your stepdaughter. Communicate with her biological parents to understand the specific parenting role they expect you to fill. Determine if you are responsible for discipline, decision-making or other aspects of her upbringing. Once you establish your role, ensure that your stepdaughter is also aware of it to maintain harmony within the family. 5. Practice effective communication. When your stepdaughter attempts manipulation, engage in assertive and effective communication. Respond to her in a clear and direct manner. For instance, if she whines or uses a sad tone when making a request, calmly say, I'm sorry, but I can't grant that request. Actively listen to what she has to say, avoid interruptions, and refrain from becoming defensive. Paraphrasing can help confirm your understanding of her perspective. 6. Seek professional help. If you believe your stepdaughter's manipulative behavior is becoming unmanageable, or if she threatens self-harm or running away, seek immediate assistance. Consult with family members, especially her biological parents, to discuss the situation. If needed, consider the support of a qualified therapist who can provide guidance on navigating this challenging circumstance. 7. Exercise patience. Keep in mind that your stepdaughter may be grappling with challenging emotions, potentially leading to manipulative behavior. If you suspect she is struggling with conditions like depression or anxiety, do not hesitate to seek professional help. These mental health issues are common among teenagers and could explain her sudden behavioral changes. Building a strong relationship with her will require time and effort, so focus on establishing trust, connection, and creating lasting memories over months or years. Dealing with a manipulative stepdaughter is a complex process, but with these strategies and patience, you can work towards a more positive and healthy dynamic within your family. What to do when you struggle to like your stepdaughter? If you find that you genuinely don't have a strong liking for your stepdaughter despite your efforts, it's important to acknowledge your feelings and address the situation constructively. Here are some steps you can take. 1. Acknowledge your feelings, recognize that it's okay to have complex emotions and sometimes despite your best efforts, you may not develop a strong liking for your stepdaughter. Accepting your feelings is the first step in addressing the situation. 2. Maintain an effort. As the adult in the relationship, you have an obligation to make an effort, even if you don't have strong feelings of liking. Continue to engage with her and be supportive as needed. 3. Limit your involvement. While making an effort, consider involving yourself only when necessary. Allow your partner, the biological parent, to handle decision-making related to your stepdaughter. Establish firm boundaries in your relationship to maintain a sense of balance. 4. Consider the bigger picture. Understand that in a blended family, all parties may not reciprocate the same level of affection. It might feel unfair, but when parents divorce, children in both households require love and attention from all involved adults. 5. Consult a professional. If the strain between you and your stepdaughter becomes overwhelming and you contemplate making significant life decisions, such as leaving your relationship or marriage, it's advisable to consult a professional therapist. They can provide guidance and support during difficult times. The bottom line. In challenging situations involving your stepdaughter, keep in mind that she might be going through difficult life changes. Do your best to maintain open lines of communication within the family and work together to find solutions that benefit everyone. Remember that this phase is not permanent. 
and as your stepdaughter grows and matures, her behavior may evolve, and her attempts at manipulation may diminish over time. Patience and persistence can help improve the dynamic in your blended family, dealing with a manipulative stepdaughter. This is what we recommend practicing. Step one, educate yourself about manipulation. Manipulation involves the use of psychological tactics to control or influence someone's behavior or decisions. In the context of dealing with a manipulative stepdaughter, it's crucial to understand the various techniques and strategies that manipulative individuals may employ. One common tactic used by a manipulative stepdaughter is guilt tripping, where she tries to make you feel guilty or responsible for her desires. This understanding is a fundamental step in addressing manipulation effectively. She may also use lies to manipulate. For example, she might tell you that her biological mother lets her stay up until 11 p.m. on weekends when her bedtime is closer to 9. Step 2. Combat manipulation with love. Your insight into the possible underlying causes of manipulative behavior in stepdaughters is valuable. Indeed, feelings of uncertainty and insecurity about their place in the family can contribute to such behaviors. Understanding this perspective can help in addressing manipulative actions more empathetically and effectively. In these situations, it's crucial to foster a sense of belonging and security within the blended family. Building trust, open communication, and demonstrating care and respect can go a long way in helping stepchildren feel valued and accepted in their new family dynamic. This, in turn, can reduce the likelihood of manipulative behavior and promote healthier relationships within the family. She might resent her parent moving on from a divorce or the death of a parent. She could feel overshadowed by other siblings who reside in the house. A child uses manipulation when they don't think there are other ways to communicate. You can tell your stepdaughter that you think of her as your own, but your actions always speak louder than your words. Show your stepdaughter that you love her and accept her by bonding with her. This is not one big, grand gesture, but something you need to do every day. Engage in conversations with her, actively listen to her, and discover her aspirations and objectives. Give her your full attention when she shares her thoughts. Inquire about her social circle and show genuine interest in her life. Ensure she understands your care and concern for her well-being. Express your love daily, even when she might not be receptive to hearing it. Step 3. Stop thinking of her as a stepdaughter. While she may not share a biological connection with you from the moment you married her parent, she also became your daughter. It's important to convey this sentiment to her, even if she may not immediately embrace it. Over time, she's likely to value this gesture and recognize her place as an integral part of the family. Step 4. Develop a relationship with her other parent. Establishing an amicable relationship with her other parent if they remain involved is crucial. Although it might be challenging, it is not insurmountable. If the other parent is not inclined to develop a friendship, at least aim for effective communication to ensure you are consistently aligned in your parenting roles for your new daughter. Of course, there may be situations where the relationship between your new spouse and their ex is so strained that finding a means of communication becomes unfeasible. Step 5. Resist manipulative behavior. Resisting manipulative behavior is a challenging but essential step. It's vital not to let such behaviors persist. Engage in conversations with your partner and, if feasible, involve the other parent in this discussion. Collaboratively decide on an approach to address the situation and then consistently implement it. For instance, if your stepdaughter attempts to manipulate you by falsely claiming that her other parent allows her to skip school, you can respond truthfully by stating that you are aware this is not the case. Staying united with your partner and maintaining consistent boundaries is key to addressing manipulative behavior effectively. Step 6. Prepare for challenging reactions. Anticipate that when you do not yield to your stepdaughter's manipulative attempts, she may exhibit negative behavior in response. This might include making false accusations about you or suggesting to your partner that you are acting abusively. However, it's crucial not to allow the fear of such consequences to deter you from doing what is in the best interest of both yourself and your stepdaughter. In the face of her negative reactions, respond with patience and love. This steadfast approach can help maintain a healthy and constructive environment within your family, even in the face of challenging behaviors. Now let's talk about how to deal with manipulative stepson. 
Dealing with a manipulative stepson can be extremely challenging, but there are steps you can take to address the situation and work towards a healthier family dynamic. Here are some suggestions. Here's a case. The stepmother has been facing significant challenges with her stepson. Despite her deep affection for his father, she is beginning to question whether their relationship is worth continuing, considering the ongoing difficulties. The stepson, who is five years old, has shown an intense fixation on his perception of family, which comprises his father, her partner, his mother and himself. He often manifests this fixation in his drawings, consistently portraying family units with only these three individuals, deliberately excluding the stepmother and her own son, her stepson's stepbrother. The stepmother has been an integral part of the stepson's life for the past three years, serving as the only partner her partner has had since his divorce from the stepson's mother. Despite her long-standing presence, the stepson has expressed a desire not to live with the stepmother or her son any longer. This has manifested in hurtful comments directed towards her son, stating that he should find his own father and that he shouldn't have to share with the stepson, primarily because her son's biological father is unfavorably characterized. The stepmother has made dedicated efforts to create a welcoming and loving environment for her stepson. She ensures that the stepson's room is equipped with everything he desires or requires. She is also committed to providing her son with the same opportunities and privileges such as involvement in sports and activities. Her extended family has embraced the stepson without hesitation, although her son and herself have not experienced the same level of acceptance from her partner's family due to her previous divorce and her son's presence. Lately, the stepson has been expressing a desire for exclusive time with his father, without the presence of the stepmother and her son. He has even gone so far as to create a dinner roster, delineating specific nights for shared family dinners and designating other nights for private dinners with only his father and the stepmother. On these occasions, the stepmother and her son are expected to leave, allowing the stepson's mother to come to the family home for dinner with her son and the father. The stepmother has attempted to broach the issue with her partner, and proposed counselling to facilitate adjustment to the new family dynamics. However, her partner has thus far avoided addressing the situation, seemingly hoping it will resolve itself. As a result, the stepmother feels a sense of powerlessness and confusion. She is deeply troubled by the manipulative and hurtful behaviours displayed by her five-year-old stepson towards her son. Despite recognising his age, she finds it challenging to witness this behavior while observing her stepson remaining the primary focus of her partner's affection. Her greatest desire is to hear from other stepmothers who have encountered similar situations and to find reassurance that things will eventually improve. Welcome to the Stepmum Club, tells another stepmom. She shares her experiences as a stepmother to her 11-year-old stepson, whom she's been with for the past eight years. Despite the fact that the stepson's parents were separated long before she entered the picture, he occasionally tells her that she stole his father from his mother and disrupted their potential happiness. The commenter notes that this type of talk only occurs when the stepson is upset, indicating that he may use it as a coping mechanism rather than a true reflection of his feelings. The stepson chooses to call the commenter mum and addresses his mother by her name as he predominantly lives with the commenter and his father with minimal contact with his mother. The commenter's son, who shares the same father as the stepson, often hears distressing remarks from the stepson. The commenter attributes this behavior to jealousy and the need for attention, as the stepson desires acknowledgement and acceptance. To address this, the commenter's son has moved into a consistent living arrangement with them, visiting his mother every second weekend to provide structure and stability. The commenter empathizes with the stepson's feelings, understanding that he may struggle with not having a distinct sense of home. Despite having a lovely room in each house, the stepson may not feel like an integral part of either household. The commenter highlights the importance of helping the child realize that he has a home in both places and that he is a cherished family member in their blended family. The commenter emphasizes that these challenges don't disappear easily. She encourages the original poster to maintain open communication with her partner and consistently convey that the stepson is loved and an integral part of their family. The commenter also underscores the significance of a healthy relationship with the mother and transparency with the child to prevent manipulation and secrets. 
In closing, the commenter offers best wishes, acknowledging that there are both good and difficult days in the journey of being a stepmother. She commends the original poster for her kindness and reassures her that her stepson will ultimately benefit from her love and care. Identifying manipulative behavior in a stepchild manipulative behavior in children resembles that in adults. They are aware that they are playing mind games. They can see the impact of their actions. The control they gain through manipulation can become addictive, making it challenging to break this habit. 1. Makes hurtful statements. The intuition of children is daringly sharp. They do not have to live with you for too long to estimate your strengths and weaknesses. They know the areas that hurt and the right buttons to push to get them what they want. Take this scenario as an example. Miss Bright has been through several unsuccessful marriages. She realized from early on that she would be unable to give birth to a child. Being a child lover, this truth hurt her badly. When she met Mr. Best, he told her about his daughter and they agreed to raise her together after marriage. His daughter, however, did not accept her and tried to make her life a living hell. She often made comments about her reproductive health and the situation got so bad that Mr. Best had to temporarily give up his custody rights by sending his daughter to her mom. Your circumstances may be different from that of Miss Bright, but the little manipulator knows how their words hurt you. The intention is to get Miss Bright super angry so she would walk away from her dad's life. 2. Intentional show of disrespect. You could calmly and respectfully ask your stepchild to do things around the house and they would outrightly refuse. This behavior can be followed by a subtle threat like you cannot make me do anything or something related. By default, this should get you angry. Many parents who experience this inform their partner of their stepchild's behavior. When their parents ask them again to do what you have requested, they oblige without questioning them. This pattern repeated over a continuum of time will leave you feeling insecure in your own home. And that's the goal of the little manipulator. 3. Openly ignoring you. We all occasionally get home accidents. When this happens, we naturally expect the people around us to gravitate towards us and show concern. One parent narrated her encounter with her stepson. She was making pancakes in the kitchen while he sat on a stool close to the door. He was watching her closely without saying a word. As she turned around to pick up some utensils, she mistakenly hit her foot on the wall. Of course, it was really painful and she expected him to show concern. He knew she was in pain, but instead of saying sorry or trying to help, he asked her if it hurt. She replied affirmatively and then he told her presence hurts him in the same way then he walked out. This incident left her wondering what she could have done to hurt the poor boy, but obviously all she had done was try to bond with him. 4. Guilt Tripping When some stepchildren get to know about their stepparents' weaknesses, they stop at nothing to make you feel guilty for everything. You may be getting blamed for things that happened before and after you came into their life. They might get you to do things their parents will disapprove of to cause a rift. They kind of put you on a pedestal where you find yourself wallowing in guilt and thinking of how to get them to like you. Your stepchild may be so sweet outwardly that their manipulation can leave you doubting yourself. 5. Silent treatment. The silent treatment is an old tactic that makes you feel like you have wronged them, yet you would not know what could have prompted their anger. With your stepchild, you have likely done nothing wrong. The issue they have with you is the preconceived notion that you are responsible for the change in their family. No matter what you say to them, you would not get a response, and neither would they say a word to you. All you would get is scornful stares and silence. 6. Creating doubt. In your mind, they would intentionally move your things and deny ever touching them. They could spoil your stuff and make it look like you are responsible. All of their actions are well calculated, so it often leaves you doubting yourself. You might be led to believe you are responsible for things they have done. This goes further like trying to break the trust between you and your partner. They would plot out stuff, hurt you and parade it as your partner had done it. They would do this to their parents as well and blame it on you. Their intention is to bore holes in the trust you have for each other. Most of the time they succeed without getting caught. If care is not taken, their behavior can cause serious damages to your marriage and an eventual separation. 7. Lying your stepchild could lie about you, your partner or themselves. It can be very hard to spot their lies, but then it's hard to get to the bottom of it. The lies can range from things like saying you treat them badly or you starve them, 
or you make them do things they do not want to. When such lies are coated and narrated to the other parent, it could even raise legal concerns and your partner would have to constantly appear before a lawyer to reassure them that all is fine and under control. This can be crazy, especially when all the tricks used to get the child to stop lying fail. 8. Emotional blackmail. This behavior is common in children older than 7 years of age. Their behavior can be very complacent, kind and accepting. When they execute their plans, it's hard to decide if they meant well or not. You may hear things like, Before you came into our lives, we used to do so and so, but now that's impossible. We were a lot happier before you married our your spouse. The list is endless. Some of these statements may be untrue, but they would constantly say this thing to get a reaction from you. 9. Throwing tantrums Tantrums are very effective when children want to push beyond their boundaries, and many of them know this. If you have had encounters where you asked your stepchild to go to bed and it was followed with a bout of crying or saying gibberish, it's probably a sign that they want to manipulate you into doing something. The most popular tantrum children throw is lying. They try to use it as an escape from doing important things like homework, keeping to bedtime, taking power naps. 10. Starving. Offer a manipulative child their favorite food and watch them reject it. This action may come after scolding or executing a punishment. It is done in a bid to gain the upper hand and make you feel like you are treating them badly. Some children may go on to lie that you offered them no food when the choice to not eat was made by them. No matter how hard you try to cajole them out of this, they would resist. Many will steal away part of their meal so they can eat it when you are not watching. How to deal with a manipulative stepchild. Children are exceptional manipulators. You can get to the bottom of your stepchild's manipulation if you are intentional about it and get both parents involved. Before diving headlong into this, understand and settle whatever grudges your stepchild may be holding against you. Try to get close to them. By doing so, you would understand why children manipulate their adult caregivers. Most of the time, it doesn't have a direct correlation with your relationship with them. Children manipulate their caregivers for many reasons. They can do this if you do not have strong boundaries because they know they will get whatever they want. The manipulation might be to make you feel guilty about your parenting approach. Sometimes it's to secure your love and attention. It could also be as a result of the power struggle they have created in their heads. Some children who have trouble owning up to their mistakes and feelings turn to manipulation as a getaway. Your stepchild has reasons for being so manipulative. Understanding the motive behind it gives you some sort of direction on how to go about their behavior. The following are tips you can employ to help you get to the bottom of this. 1. Do not react. Whenever you notice your stepchild is trying to guilt trip or manipulate you, do not react. Acknowledge the situation and let them know you understand them and where they are coming from. Try to meet them halfway. If you have deprived them of something as a punishment, reassure them that they can get it back after they have served their time. Do not offer your stepchild lighter alternatives. It would fuel their manipulative patterns and make them feel their tactic helped them buy their way out. 2. Understand that you cannot please them all the time. The urge to want to keep your stepchildren happy at all times can be difficult to resist. This makes you weak in the face of their manipulation. It's okay to want the best for them and desire to see them happy. But this feeling should not come in the way of enforcing laws when you need to. Doing the latter is way more beneficial and would guarantee their safety and happiness in the long run. 3. Be consistent manipulation can have a strong effect on most parents. It pushes you to the wall and you may want to bend rules or soften punishment. You might even want to do whatever your stepchild is demanding without really thinking it true. All parenting experts agree that consistency is the hallmark of good parenting. Do not create rules today or make statements only to start acting otherwise. Disengage from whatever feeling their manipulation is creating in you. Do not let it overpower you, else their behavior would get worse. If you let the manipulation work for them the first time, they would get better at it and pull your legs over and over. 4. Be their accountability partner. Every time they do something manipulative, call them out. Explain to them that their behavior is bad and would not be condoned. Let them understand how grave their offense is. Tell them stories about manipulation and the nuisance it constitutes in society. Be kind but firm. Reach an agreement on how they would get over their behavior. Encourage them to just be themselves in every situation. 
Five, create penalties. Setting goals to overcome this behavior is not enough. Let them know there would be consequences whenever they try to be manipulative. Stand your ground at all times and execute penalties whenever it's necessary. You were watching Stoic Principles. Now we encourage our viewers to engage with our content through likes and subscriptions. If you have any more questions or need assistance with anything else, feel free to ask in the comment section.